hey guys what's going on so in this video we will be learning about git repository now the previous video we have installed and configured git now if you haven't seen that step i will recommend you to go back and check that video out okay so git repository is a place or a folder which is named dot git and it is a folder where all the tracked files are managed now there are two ways through which you can initialize a git repository first way is to initialize a git repository on an existing project and the second way is to initialize a remote git repository in this video we'll be covering only initializing the git repository on an existing project or a local folder and in the remote one we'll be making use of github to clone the repository that we'll be covering in that lecture now let's get started so to initialize a git you need to cd into the directory now there are two ways to do that first way is via command prompt and uh, second way is through git bash now if you remember in the previous video we allowed command prompt to access git now as a result we can also access git via visual studio code now i'll be making use of git bash and momentarily i'll be keep switching from git bash to the visual studio code integrated terminal now you can choose to work on either the choice is yours okay so uh, to maintain equality i would be working on both so first of all i'll be starting off with git bash to, to fire up your git bash go to start and type git bash and after typing you would get something like this if i want to manage a project first first and the foremost step i do is to initialize a git repository now for that i will cd into the directory where i want to initialize the git repository okay so this is my required directory hit enter now as you can see that i am inside the required directory now let's list the files that are present in this directory for that type ls space dash la hit enter now the ls and dash la flag is used to list out the hidden directories as well now as you can see there are no folder files at present now let's initialize a git repository here to do that type git space in it and hit enter now whenever you see a master tag as soon as you initialize a git consider that you have successfully initialized the git repository now let's once again view all the files including the hidden ones ls dash la hit enter now you can see that a new entrant dot git now at this point let me tell you that if you don't understand any of these uh, commands ls la cd i recommend you to watch the linux tutorial because these are basically the basic linux shell commands i recommend you to watch that linux tutorial and i will give you the link to that in the description below or i'll give you the card to it at the top be sure to check it out okay now let's create a file and do some changes there and see whether git is tracking it or not let me create a file okay so when we go back to the git and Whenever if you want to check whether any file is being tracked by git or not, type git status and hit enter. Now as you can see that it shows that one untracked file which is run.py. Now let me tell you that if I type the same thing over the integrated terminal, it will also show me the same thing. It will say hey run.py is untracked. The integrated terminal of Visual Studio Code and git bash, both of them works the same way. Both of them give the same result. But let me use git bash. For the most part so git has successfully identified a file say run.py and it is not being tracked by git now we will be getting into the tracking part in the next video we will be understanding the different stages of git for now let's keep on creating untracked files for the next video so one is this run.py now let's create a folder say test and inside that test let's create a file say test.txt cool now let's look at the git let's type git status again as you can see git now has two untracked files run.py and test directory so you have successfully initialized the git and we just worked around the git for a bit now in the next video we'll be covering the different stages of git we'll be then moving forward to understand what is git add git commit and basic commands related to that all right guys see you in the next lecture